I'm just uh, making this up as I go here. I got no real plan of attack, but that's what I like about Silo. It, it it's just so much fun to use. It's a joy, pure joy compared to Lightwave. Now I still use Lightwave for modeling things. Silo is really really good at your character stuff, so I get all excited when I ever I get to model another character because that means I get to use Silo. It's just fun to use. Let's bring that chin in a little bit. I'll start carving up some fac facial features here. Let's have our mouth be right about here. And uh, I'm not really showing you a full spectrum view of the program. There's all sorts of other cool tools, like the uh, re retopologizing tool, which is very slick. Maybe I'll show you that in this, another video. Here I'm just I'm just kind of freeforming here. That was cool. Let me do that again. I wanted to select that point right there without touching this arrow here, because if I go right on top of it, clearly the arrow is highlighted, so you just kind of move it away, and, and it's kind of highlighting the closest thing, and you click. Oops, I forgot the shift clicks. Now I got both of them. And now let's... Uh, Cut a crease in here for the nose. Bring this guy out. It's nice that you, when you do the instant sy symmetry, it knows you want symmetry mode on automatically, so it just doesn't let you move those things away from center. I tend to model willy-nilly and then clean it up later and get the polygon flow working later. But everybody does it differently. See, now I got one big-ass polygon here. Same thing here. Let's have this point right here be our most prominent part of the cheek.
you do re a, uh, develop a kind of a reflex two-click thing going on when you first select an, an item then you let go of the mouse and you click on it again so you can move it it's a, a little different from light wave where you select something and then you hit T for move or whatever let's see what's going on here I gotta figure out a way to Now I can see what's going on. That's better. Let's give him a little bit of a hook nose. Maybe he's from Jersey like me. Oops, I hit the space bar, and that split up my uh, view into two two windows. Oh, okay, this is cool. You hold your mouse over one window or the other, hit space bar again, and it goes full screen. Hope this is not too boring. I know it's not the most exciting thing watching somebody model. But the next step after this would be uh, downloading the demo and checking it out for yourself firsthand. And there is a free demo for 30 days, I believe. I just hit the M key. Well, it's it's not M for everybody, but this is merge mode, which is, is pretty cool. I like this. Click and drag. And as I drag, see it draws an, an implied line there when I let go merge. Click, drag. I'm still in the same mode. I can just keep doing it all over and over again until I hit escape. Then I'm back in my normal mode. <laughs> 